Crafting Effective Apology and Condolence Letters, a Real-Life Examples Analysis. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our English learning series. Today we're going to dive deep into a very important, but often difficult, aspect of written communication. We're going to focus on writing apology and condolence letters. We'll discuss their structure, language, and tone, and then we'll look at some real-life examples to better understand their practical application. An apology letter is a way to express remorse for an action or event that caused distress to another person. It's about accepting responsibility and making a sincere effort to make things right. A condolence letter, on the other hand, is a way to express sympathy and offer comfort to someone who is grieving. The tone for both letters should be sincere, respectful, and empathetic. An effective apology letter usually follows this structure. 1. Acknowledge the mistake or wrongdoing. 2. Express remorse and take responsibility. 3. Offer a solution or assure that you're working to avoid the mistake in the future. 4. Ask for forgiveness. The language used should be simple, straightforward, and sincere. Here's an example. Underscore, dear, name. I am truly sorry for the mistake that happened. I acknowledge that the impact it had on them. I take full responsibility and assure you that steps are being taken to prevent this from happening again. I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me. Best regards. Your name, underscore. Writing a condolence letter can be challenging, but it's important to offer support and comfort. Here's the basic structure. 1. Acknowledge the loss. 2. Express your sympathy. 3. Offer comfort and support. 4. Close with a warm sign-off. Here's an example. Underscore. Dear. Name. I was deeply saddened to hear about the loss. My heart goes out to you during this difficult time. Please know that you're not alone and I'm here for you. If there's anything I can do to help, don't hesitate to ask. With heartfelt sympathy, your name, underscore. To better understand these concepts, let's analyze some real life examples of apology and condolence letters. Please take note of how the writers acknowledge the situation, express their feelings sincerely, and offer a resolution or support. Insert real-life examples and discussion. And that wraps up our discussion on writing effective apology and condolence letters. I hope this has been helpful and that you're now better equipped to express empathy and sincerity in your written communication. Remember, it's all about connecting with the recipient's emotions and offering genuine remorse or support. Thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to our next session. Happy learning!